Hey everyone, on Mask Art here, and today I'm just going to be drawing a white daisy flower. This is for this week's narrated tutorial that will be available on Friday. I'm just making a short narration for this time lapse because recently I mentioned in a drawing journal that if you're going to create time lapses on YouTube, that it's in your best interest to narrate all of them because they make them more interesting. People tend to watch them longer so that they don't miss anything uh, if they enjoy your channel enough. And the reason I chose to do this flower in the dead of winter um, is because recently I saw a painting of a white flower and though it was quite good and detailed, I noticed that there was just way too much white in it. And I could tell that the artist was good at what they were doing, but they were struggling with color choice, and it could have been the photograph, but I don't think that it was. And so when you're so when you're doing white things, it's best to remember that odds are they're not white. It's just that the color is so light and the contrast between the darks and the bright colors that surround them usually make it look more white than it actually is. And if you're, if you're trying to do more realistic looking drawings or paintings, then you have to be very careful about the whites and blacks that you put in your work because it's going to start looking unnatural the more white you add or the more black you add. It works in both directions, so you have to be careful with those two colors. Oftentimes I avoid both white and black in my work because I am aware that things aren't white and black most of the time. Even if you're working from a reference photo, you know, sometimes sometimes in photography you, you take you, you deepen your darks, you make things look really, really black, and you actually have black in the photos, and that's a totally stylistic thing, but if you're trying to make stuff look real, just in general, then you don't really have those really dark blacks or really bright whites. So I actually used no white in this piece at all, and I'll explain more in detail on Friday when the narrated tutorial is up, but I just wanted to narrate this time lapse for the sake of narrating it. Um, a few things that I'll talk about more in depth on the narration is the use of or the non-use of white and then also pattern recognition which you'll see kind of in the middle of the flower. It kind of makes my life easy. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the video on Friday and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.